Hey everybody, I'm Vina and I'm here at the red carpet premiere of Zookeeper's Wife starring Jessica Chastain. This is a movie for all you history buffs out there. It's set in 1939 and it's about World War II and the Warsaw Zoo. So stay tuned for some amazing interviews. So you play Morrissey, did yes, I say that correctly? Yeah, yeah. Maurizzi, Maurizzi Franco. Maurizzi. Yeah. How do you connect with Maurizzi in the film, like personally? Um, I think that he was... Um, Someone who was a friend of, uh, you know, he was a friend of Antonina and uh, and Jans, and he did a lot of work for them, and he just, you know, he just wanted to, he just wanted to help and be involved, and he was actually a character that stayed in the ghetto and helped a lot of people um, get fake paperwork. Um, I keep on telling myself that I would have been that brave, and uh, and I don't know. I think that um, you know, my, my family, uh, my family, my grand on my grandma's side. Uh, you know, my grandma escaped from Poland in the early 30s, but a lot of her family didn't make it out. Um, so I think there was a responsibility for me to kind of how some of that in that character and I feel that that was a big connection for me. Um, you know, I, I think he, he was a big lover of the arts and so am I. He was, you know, he was in love, uh, so am I, you know, uh, and uh, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. So with such a personal connection to a movie like this, what did it mean to your family that you chose this movie over any other projects that came your way? Okay, well let's get one thing straight <laughs> and choose this movie over loads of other films. The people that are involved in this movie are fantastic and I was really very proud to stand amongst them in it. Um, I think you know, my mom is from Jerusalem. Uh, my, my dad's from Riga, you know, we're, we're, we're a totally Jewish crew. Um, so I think they were very proud, and I think especially, like, you know, my mum's mother, my grandma Luba, who I was telling you about, that's always going to be a big part of our family. So I think whenever there's a nod in that direction of history, I feel like uh, we have a responsibility to you know, take part and to go out and tell stories about, about that period and never forget. And I think. This is no better time than now to kind of tell a story about two brave individuals who help these refugees, if you like, you know. These people who are displaced had nowhere to go and were going to be killed, for sure, if they didn't have anywhere to go. Um, and uh, I think it's really difficult to fathom how brave these people were. I agree. Well, we're excited to go in there and watch the story unfold oh, and yeah. learn a rich piece of history. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.